Okay, this is another of the test videos with the newly painted top, a matter finish, and more importantly, the diffusion on the 20 watt LED floodlights above it. So I'm going to use this video just to take apart this other Chinese lamp uh, that I got, which is supposed to be 3 watts, but uh, they tend to exaggerate a little bit. So let's uh, plug this in, let's screw it into the adapter. Uh, I've got the power meter here, and we'll see it's cold white, um, and it's drawing about one point. 7, 1.8 watts, so we'll say 1.8, so not quite the 3 watts, but then we'd kind of know they, they kind of do that all the time, don't they? In a way, as I've always said about this, I kind of prefer it when they under run lamps anyway, so let's, uh, let's uh, screw off, or is it? It's, uh, it's clip off. It's a very typical layout in here. It's the uh, one that has, I can see, surface mount resistors, uh, the diodes there, they should have discharged the capacitors. On the back, uh, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten LEDs. Let's measure the current through those LEDs. I'm guessing with that style of LEDs, it's going to be three volts across it, and the current through it is going to be about 50 milliamps, maybe. Oh, let's, let's put it into the adapter so I can actually screw it in. That, that wouldn't have worked very well, shoving a uh, Edison screw holder into a... Uh, being a cap lamp holder. Right, so uh, let's get the meter up. And afterwards I shall draw the schematic of this as well. So the voltage across each LED is... I might find it difficult to... Oh, yeah, I can't actually see these because they're so bright. Oh, on. It's the worst about poking about in live stuff, you can't just grab it and hold it, much as I'm tempted to. Okay, uh, 3.15 volts across the LED, so I'll note that down. Three point one five volts. Uh, this is uh, the test where the the exposure hadn't been locked, so the uh, exposure will be ready up and down as I move into frame and out of frame and bring bright objects in. Times ten LEDs equals thirty one point five volts. Okay, let's uh, short one of those out and measure the current through it. So I'll set this to milliamps now. Change the meter over like that. Uh, Probably not help with the fact the lamp's shining right into it, but I shall now short out one of these LEDs. The current through it is 52 milliamps, so uh, pretty much 50 milliamps. So 52 milliamps. Okay, let's uh, turn that off now, it's kind of bright. So uh, putting my meter back out of the current settings to avoid any little instance. Uh, well, let's work that out. So, uh, the power dissipation came up on the meter as, just plug this in again, 1.7 or 1.8 watts. Um, 31.5, 31.5 times 0 0.052 equals 1.638 uh, watts. So, mm, just, yeah. Close enough, really, it's about a tenth of a watt out. Actually, it's less than a tenth. It was displaying 1.7 there, so it's about... Yeah, it's not far off. It's good enough. So, um, let's uh, draw the schematic. And also note the values down. Hopefully these discharge resistors are doing their biz. So, it's the usual arrangement. Uh, here comes the live in here, which goes to the capacitor. Live. Could be neutral, but uh, we'll just uh, put that like this. Not sure what the resistor value is yet. I'll have to take a look at that with a magnifying glass because it's very, very small. Surface mount resistor. Ooh, nothing's particularly readable. I might have to get cracked the magnifying glass out already. 820 nano. That's quite a high value. 400 volt, which is nice. Always good when they... Well, I mean, it says 400 volt. That doesn't mean anything. The electrolytic here is 50 volt, 47 microfarad. Uh, but first of all, let's, let's finish doing this first. So that's going into the rectifier here. 
just the stereotypical thing, you know. If if you watch my channel a lot, you've uh, you've seen this so many times before. And likewise, the neutral um, wire is coming on there. Is going straight to the rectifiers. Yeah, it's actually going up inside, uh, in between the diodes. So um, neutral is going straight into the rectifier. The output of the rectifier comes across rather chunkily, it just comes straight out here, uh, straight to the capacitor, resistor across it, and then through the LED. So there's the capacitor. It's drawn very badly. Uh, another discharge resistor. And then one, two, I'm just going to draw three again. But there's ten LEDs. So what are these discharge resistors? The for start, the electrolytic was 47 megfarad, 50 volt. The resistors are 474, 474, so 470k. 470k. And that's it. I'll just draw the wee bits of light coming out the LEDs. Yep, it's just a fairly standard um, design. Very, very common. Um, they seem to have sort of stabilised with this particular form of circuit board as well, where you've got the, you know, it really is stereotypical. It's got these four diodes in the middle. It's got the two surface mount uh, capacitor discharge resistors, the ring of LEDs, or more than one, and the current limited capacitor here, and then the smoothing capacitor here. It's a very, very common arrangement. And uh, also, that they've got the loads of ventilation holes in the cover. I'm not sure. It doesn't really help with ventilation from the front, from the uh, diffuser. But uh, loads of ventilation holes there, and then tons of ventilation holes in the back, possibly to let smoke out, and maybe even to lessen the impact if the electrolytic was bang, because we've seen what happens when electrolyticals go bang, and it could actually stop it from blowing the front right out of the lamp, and just make a sort of muffled pop instead. Maybe that's what that's for, though. Yeah, uh, so let me know what you think. This is the video that uh, was on automatic self-adjustment mode. The one with the hydroponic lamp, with the 60 LED hydroponic lamp, is the one that I set the gain control so that, you know, the brightness doesn't vary. And, you know, so it uh, hopefully um, it means that when this large sheet of white paper is out the way, that, you know, this one's probably going to have the edge in terms of the brightness of what we're looking at. But the other one that's locked uh, off the grayscale will just have that slight duller look at this point, but will just be more consistent throughout. So you can let me know what you think.